Sentinel-2C is ready for launch. The new satellite will soon join its family in orbit, where it will continue to provide detailed views of land and coastal waters. It will improve our ability to respond effectively to environmental challenges. Over the past months, the satellite has undergone a series of tests in preparation for launch on a Vega flight from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. Sentinel-2 is based on a constellation of two identical satellites, Sentinel-2A and Sentinel-2B. They both fly in the same orbit but apart to optimize coverage and revisit time. The satellites carry a high-resolution multi-spectral imager and generate optical images from the visible to the shortwave infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The constellation was originally designed to monitor land surfaces, but its scope has since expanded. It now covers a wide range of applications. This includes land cover changes like deforestation, agricultural monitoring, and mapping variables like leaf chlorophyll, leaf area index, and water content. It also monitors water quality, changes in water bodies, and coastal erosion. It has witnessed icebergs breaking, glaciers retreating, ice sheets melting, changes in sea ice, and variations in snow cover. It has even spotted penguin poo from space, helping monitor emperor penguin colonies. Sentinel-2 has also proved useful in monitoring natural disasters like wildfires, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, floods, and landslides. These data feed into the Copernicus Emergency Management Services and the International Disasters Charter, providing essential imagery to support local teams. The Sentinel-2 mission even went above and beyond its original expectations, demonstrating its ability in detecting methane emissions. Sentinel-2C, once in orbit, will replace the Sentinel-2A unit, prolonging the life of the Sentinel-2 mission and ensuring a continuous supply of data for Copernicus, the Earth observation component of the EU space program.